Hello everybody and welcome to my, I believe this is my fourth Crusader Kings campaign at this point, CK3 campaign specifically. Well, hello leaders of the Lambicana Empire. They are, of course, not who we are focused on anymore. That campaign is officially over and it is time to move on. So naturally I'm going to click on this, con no I'm kidding. <laughs> We're going to click on new game because we do need a new game. And that will be fine. Now we're not interested in any of these so-called interesting characters because there was a poll that was up on the channel and in that poll it was determined A that we were going to play another game of Crusader Kings next and B it was determined that we are going to do a Mongol World Conquest. Wait a second this is 1066. It was specifically stated that this should be an early start date. We're going to go back. Okay, this is great. This is just top tier content right now. So we're going to go to 867. Wonderful. And we'll load this on in. Okay. Now, I was thinking about who we wanted to do. So obviously, our first goal is going to be to create the Empire of Mongolia, right? That's goal number one. The obvious choice here for a power play is the Kyrgyz Khanate. This guy would be the clear choice, but I think that's boring. So instead, we're going to go for one of these guys up here. Now, I kind of don't want to initially have borders with the Kyrgyz Khanate because I want a little bit of time to worm my way in there. So instead, we're going to go for one of these two. And the question is, which one? Well, I prefer horizontal... Horizontal counties over vertical counties, so Kotera it is. That's not arbitrary at all. Now, the ruler creator is an option now, and we haven't done anything with this. The question is, do we want to? And I think the answer is no. I think we go with the default ruler here. Let's go into the game rules, and we are going to just make sure that this is all correct. I want all of these on default here. There is one change. We are the Mongol invasion. So we're going to turn the Mongol invasion off because we are the Mongol invasion. Everything else, I think we're going to leave on default. End date of 1453 is fine. No issues there. All of this should be completely okay. Fantastic. We'll apply that. We are the Mongol invasion, and we're just getting started a little bit early. So we will go ahead and start. And here we are. So we need to immediately go for a lifestyle focus. We have an intrigue education, so I guess we'll do that. Hmm. Natural dread? We are already in the torturer tree, so I guess we can start working on that. Fantastic. We are not married, and I would like to fix that. Let's take a look at our situation with this guy. So he doesn't like us because we are actually a different religion. We may want to consider converting to Tengri. Yeah, we're a Siberian faith right now, and I believe the Mongols are Tengri, aren't they? I'm actually going to look that up right now ck3 mongol religion uh let's see here do 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 reformed tengri for the khan of khan's achievement okay we're not going for an achievement here but yeah we want to convert to tengri can we do that now no we don't have enough piety okay so that's something we need to work towards is converting to tengri We should also bump up our tribal authority. That's something I'm going to do right now. There we go. We have a couple of men-at-arms regiments. We're going to need to work on those a bit. Religious relations will be ideal for us right now. This is all okay. Now, we are currently over our domain limit. We hold three tribes. Okay. Now, we're a count, and we don't get any bonuses from stewardship. So we should probably... Do we get... We do get concubines. At least in this religion. I'm not sure once we get to Tengri. That said, she is Tengri. 
We're going to do this. Okay. There we go. Fantastic. And we are going to have her switch over to manage domain. That puts us up to three out of four domain limit. That's much, much better. Now, this gentleman over here. We could do a subjugate. I would rather do a county conquer. He actually holds three counties to our three. Okay, fair enough. We do start duchy level. I actually thought we were county level, but no, we start duchy level. Sure. That'll be fine. We could do a duchy conquer. That would cost us 250 faith, though, because they're of our religion. These guys are Tengri. Okay. So this might be the better one to go with, but... I do want to start working on swaying this guy. He is very powerful compared to us. As you can see, we have less than a quarter of his troops. So that's important. Now we currently have light horsemen and light footmen as our men at arms. They're not great options. Since we are Mongols, we will probably never really go as heavy into infantry as I usually do. And yeah, we're, we're going to need to convert all of this as well. We are part of the Mongolic group, which is fine. And we are definitely going to want to deal with this. Unfortunately, we cannot convert at this time. We can demand her... Con oh, wait, we can adopt her faith. Right, that's the thing we can do. That'll cost us only 250 piety. That's much, much better. So let's see what we can do to build ourselves up some quick piety. We can go on a pilgrimage. That will cost us a fair amount of cash. Here's a question. Do we want to ever adopt feudal ways? Please let me know in the comments what you think about that. We would need to reorganize, or rather reform our faith. We'll switch to Tangri as soon as we can, but I'm, I'm interested in hearing what you guys have to say about that. Should we ever switch to feudalism? I don't know. We'll see. I'm not willing to make a decision on that just yet. I am interested in declaring on this guy. I would like to conquer this over here. How much does he have? He has more troops than we do. Problematic. This guy also has more troops than we do. 1600. Okay. These mercs are not going to be helpful for us. We don't have that kind of cash. We have 1216 now. Our heir here. We're going to educate him. Uh, not ourselves. But we're going to set his his education type, actually. We might educate him ourselves. We're going to set his education type to be diplomacy. Which it already is. That's perfect. And we're going to have... Whoever is the highest diplomacy skill in our realm. This guy. Okay. There we go. That is underway. What are we actually doing with our counselors right now? We don't need to fabricate a claim. Domestic affairs might not be the worst thing. I do think that foreign affairs are good right now. Collect taxes are also decent at this exact moment. And we want to organize levies, for sure. Is there a better marshal? No. Okay. I'd love to attack this guy. That would only cost us 50 faith. If we were to conquer his overall duchy... Or do a kingdom invade, that would cost a lot. We could get a county, though. And that wouldn't necessarily be the worst idea. Okay. 
That would start building us up some cash and such. We may want to actually do some raiding, though. I think that's our plan right now. We're going to raise up our raiders up here. How much loot is up here? Uh, let's, let's raise our local raiders. Okay. 15 loot. Let's do it. We're going to head up here and do some raiding. Get that done. We're going to need to build up our piety, but we need cash and prestige as well. The piety is kind of going to happen. Interesting. He wants to fight us. He should not fight us. He does have pikes. According to this, the chances are even. Our raid will be complete on 10 April. I don't suppose we can get out of there. No. We're going to have to fight him. We're going to hope our numbers will carry the day. Yes, our numbers do carry the day. Fantastic. We win this, but it is close. This will net us a huge chunk of prestige. An absolutely enormous chunk of prestige, in fact, I believe. Let's see. That netted us 107 prestige. That is fantastic. Now we're going to head back. And we're just going to get ourselves our cash as well. So that'll be great. We got that nice and looted. And we're just going to disband these guys for now. So 15 gold and 15 prestige. We're negative on our prestige right now. Why is that? Unraised men-at-arms. Oh, okay. It's because we are reinforcing. Fine. That's not a big deal. So at this point, I would like to get ourselves a building constructing. Unfortunately, that's a lot of cash. We're going to let our levies reinforce for a little bit there. We won that battle, but... Our next target is all the way down here. We're going to go ahead and raise our raiders up here, I think. And how many does he have now? 653. Okay. Let's actually go see about fighting him right down here. I want to build up that prestige. And then we can raid here, here, and then retreat. I think that's the overall plan. So we're going to come on in over here. We should win this. I believe that we will win this, in fact. And then he actually disbanded his troops there. Fascinating. So two loot and three loot is not a lot of loot. Not a lot of loot at all. But that's okay. We're mostly trying to save up enough to go on our pilgrimage. And in fact, we now can. We're going to consider other holy sites. We're going to go to a short pilgrimage. There we go. Because we want to build up ourselves some piety. It is time to depart. He's raising up troops again. He's going to walk in over here. It's down to being even again. Let's see how it goes. We succeeded the raid. We're going to head out over here. Hopefully we win this, but even if we don't, not a big deal. Spending 50 piety is not what we're looking to do right now. We'll find others to travel with. Okay. Nope. This is a... Well, no. No, this is a loss. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely a loss. Unless we get a turnaround here, but I don't think we will. Nope, we're out of here. It's good to be home. So we're home from our pilgrimage, and we got ourselves a good amount of piety there. Now, we did get defeated there, and that means that we are not carrying our loot anymore. It's unfortunate, and these guys are raiding us, which is being jerks. But that's okay. So we're now going to adopt the faith of Tengri. 
With my decision to convert to Tangriism, I arranged for a shaman to come to my court and conduct the rites. As he recites lines from the great legends, I can feel my conviction burning stronger within me. There's no doubt in my mind that I've chosen the right path. No matter how strong my zeal, my most immediate concern is temporal. With most of my vassals following a different faith, will I be able to keep my realm united against internal rebellions and foreign opportunists alike? Well, let's take a look at our list of zero vassals. We're not going to have a problem. <laughs> Glory to Tengri. Okay. So we're going to back off over here. We're unfortunately retreating all the way up here, but that's, I guess, okay. And here's the question. How does this system work? Well, we don't have any church holdings yet. So that's the thing. We cannot construct holdings at this time. And if we never convert to feudal, we will never be able to. That's definitely something to think about. This guy's raiding us, and honestly, there's not much we can do about it at this time. What we can do is return these troops home and start regenerating, and then declare on this guy and start our snowball, which will be exactly what we want to do. So in order to reform this, we will need a big chunk of faith. This is not something that we'll do immediately. Really, we're retreating to the same location that he's going to raid. That's rude. That's not the location I told them to retreat to, by the way. <laughs> okay, so that's immediately going to happen. There's nothing we can do about this. We will lose this fight. We just need to switch it to late battle phase and then retreat. And now we're retreating all the way back to our capital. This is delaying us. We can create a duchy, but that costs a lot of gold. Gold that we don't currently have. We did, however, manage to get converted, and that should make this guy happier with us. Yeah, he is happier. At some point, we're probably going to look to inherit the Kyrgyz Khanate. Now is not the time for that. Okay, so we're going to get our troops in over here, and we need to regenerate. Cannot disband while enemy or hostile armies are around. Because this guy's on his way back. He's being a total jerk here. Okay, now he's heading back to his territory. Good. That's what we want, is for him to head back to his territory. Unfortunately, we can't disband our army yet. Not until he leaves. We're just going to stop here. And he will be gone shortly. In theory. There we go. So now we can disband those guys, and now we can regenerate our troops. Good. So we are interested in potentially getting ourselves some additional garrison units, or more specifically, levy units over here. War camps, I think, and gathering halls would be the way to go for now. And, yeah, there are two levels in tribal societies, so that'll be fine. This guy is currently at 874. He's a bit ahead of us on his regeneration because he didn't have this guy being a jerk. But we can declare war on this guy when we are recovered from that. And we'll just take this chiefdom to take us up to 404. That'll be great. It'll cost us 75 prestige, but that's okay, and we will be regenerated sufficiently soon enough. This guy's at 911, but he's going to cap out very, very soon. We're at 893, so we're not that far behind. In fact, I would argue that we were able to do this, but we're not. He's up to 920. We're up to 923. So we have passed him. I want to give it at least one more month tick. 952. Okay. I don't think we have enough of an advantage. I really don't. 
Not quite yet. We can do this. That will help our advantage quite a lot. Now, eventually, I'd like to replace these footmen, but we don't have the ability to do that at this time. So this is going to be 1281 now, and now we're starting to get up to the point where we are solid. Let's wait until our light horsemen are completely good to go, and we'll grab fear tax. Excellent. I'm just going to cruise through on speed five for a moment here. Okay. Drop this back down to speed three because we're only one tick away now from the light horseman being maxed out. There we go. Now I think we're good enough. So we're going to conquer this county. We're going to raise all of our troops here. Three, two, one, and zero. And we're going to come up here and attack him. Perfect. We should win this handily. And there we go. That is a victory. Perfect. Our vassal is injured. What? What vassal? Our counselor. Oh, okay. Our marshal was slain. Sure. Uh, this guy is actually fine. We'll make him be the next one. Fantastic. So there's no way that we stack wipe this, obviously. We're going negative in our prestige right now. Unfortunately, this is winning us fame and devotion because we're actually at war with him. But we'll go ahead and siege this on down eight months on that siege. What is the supply limit here? It's fine. We're currently taking attrition, though. And the reason for that attrition is... Lock in. There you go. No. Lock in. Just be sieging. 1% minus 9 per month. Okay. That'll be fine. So we have 6 months left on this siege, and he's still retreating. He has arrived back over here. He has stopped retreating, and he's on his way back north. He will reinforce on the way. Okay. We have four months left on this siege. We'll get a siege event here. Stalemate. Very sad. Very, very sad. He's actually attacking our capital. I'm okay with this. That means that we win the war. If he truly wanted to win this war, he would have come up and stopped our siege. Although this starvation event means that he probably couldn't have. So that's great. We're going to make our way south as soon as we finish this and go relieve the siege on our capital. Man, we siege slowly without siege weapons. <laughs> Not used to that. Okay, we're going to head on down. And at this point, we will start to replenish our troops. We're at 58% war score. Hmm. Leatherbound secrets, huh? 50 gold is actually really good right now. We're going to take that. Excellent. Now we're negative in our prestige, and a big part of that is because of our raised armies. Our armies are costing us prestige currently to raise up in addition to gold, but it's mostly prestige. So we're going to need to work on that prestige. And we're currently gaining it because we're a house head, dynasty head, health counties, foreign affairs, and tribal. Okay. Now, according to this, we would actually lose this encounter. Oh, we don't have an army commander. That would help. More men-at-arms counter and higher quality. That said, we'll arrive when? 27 days? We can afford to wait. We're going to wait this out. We'll get a couple reinforced ticks. Once this dips down to two months left, then we'll go. They're taking attrition. We're getting reinforced. 
This will guarantee our victory here. Okay, now we can go. We'll probably win now. And that's wonderful. He will not get his siege quite finished, and we've timed this deliberately. We could probably have gotten another month of ticks there, but I wanted to go. We did get it on the way, so that's perfect. We do win this battle, and that should win us the war. In theory, anyway. Now, we're going to want to host ourselves a feast, probably. That'll cost 25 gold. That's not too bad, actually. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to want that sweet, sweet prestige. I'm guessing he's retreating to here, but he could be retreating to here. We'll keep an eye. Welcome, friends. We're 95% war score right now. Ticking will likely get us what we need. We should have ticking war score. Yes, we do. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Actually, we're not spending 150 prestige. She would spend 150 prestige. Yes, I want her to spend the prestige here, not me. Okay, he's going here. Oof. Bought thirst for half a prestige per month for 50 gold. That's tough. The half a prestige per month is nice, but even so, that's 60, so 30 prestige for 50 gold. That's not really worthwhile. Or we could spend 75 and gain 15 gold. I'm actually going to do that. It hurts, though. I'm not happy about it. It's actually retreating up this way. Okay. No, oh, no, please, do go on. And there's our 150 prestige. So that puts us back positive. And that's okay. It's retreating to here. We'll chase him, but by the time we get there, I think Ticking War Score will be done. And we should have disbanded our army over here, honestly. Yeah, Ticking War Score will do the trick for us. Okay. Well, that will be just fine. We'll enforce those demands. We gain 75 fame. We'll disband our troops. And we are, of course, going to want to start working on developing these structures. It is, however, time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we will continue spreading the Mongol Empire. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time.